This is Code.org, and let's see what we have going on here. Oop, milestone six. Oop, let me zoom. Bloop, bloop. Cool. All right. So according to the table below, display the appropriate activities to the user depending on their stress level and happiness level. Lots of info here. Uh, here are the steps broken a bit more. Use the test code as you go through each row at the table. Use the okay. So for users, so this is a lot of information. When the stress level is high and happiness is low, this stress level, this, huh? Okay. And so what they're having us do in this one is use an if statement, but there's multiple conditions being evaluated. Now that sounds fancy and scary. It's honestly neither. Uh, a condition, right, is just the Boolean. It's a true false. So we're checking if stress level is equal to high. However, that's not enough. If stress level is only equal to high, and that is true, this is true, right? So we'll say, yep, check, true. How And happiness is equal to low. Okay, sure, true. Then the code in here would run. Only if both of these are true. If this is false, the computer never actually checks the next thing because this statement's already false and it will go to the else. So they're wanting us to check multiple things. All right, let's get into the codes. By that, I mean the code or the codes. All right, according to the table display. Okay, so we're headed over. Now, this looks weird, but honestly, guys, it's just an if statement still. So plop. All right, uh, maybe I want the comment above it, I guess. So if stress level is equal to high and happiness is low, so I need these and ands. I'm going to head over to the math section and drop in an and and. All right. Now, I'm going to hammer in some of this and talk about it in a second. Keep in mind, you just got to hit the plus E thing to get more conditions and the minus E thing to make them um, disappear. But let me start throwing in some of this data and I'll talk about it in a sec. Okay, so I switched to text mode and just started copying and pasting to make my life easier, to be honest. But if I go back to block, it's going to look something like this. Now, let me throw in the text and then go through. Oh, okay. So actually, before I do that, we need to be showing this text. So assign value activities test to blop when the above. So we're going to be using this variable inside of here. So if you're curious where this text is going, it's being assigned to activities text. Where's activities text? Somewhere up here. Yep, right there. And that's what we're going to be making use of. So let me throw that in here. I'll go back to blocks just to show you where we're at, bloom. And then I need to write activities text. I'm lazy, I'm gonna do a control C, control B on that. And then I'm assigning it to various things. So for this first one, and I'm gonna switch to text mode, so I don't have to type this all out. This first one, it's gonna be assigned to this. So I'm gonna highlight this whole thing, do a control C or a right click copy, or if you're on a Mac, a command C. Um, and then I need quotes here, because this is a string, which is a fancy word for a, uh, word or a sentence but i need quotes to make sure the computer knows hey this isn't a variable now i need to do this in each one of these sections below so let me get that done and i'll talk about it all right so i went ahead and assigned all of my text i'm wondering if we actually need this else we could use it um by having a catch-all let's see though yeah, so they suggest using this last one for the else, meaning if um, meaning if none of these are true, we'll always show that one. So let me actually, I'm just going to go to text because it's going to be easier to kill this off. Goodbye. And now we just have the else at the end. Cool. All right, so that was a bunch of copy and paste. But again, guys, what this is doing is in each of these, let me switch. In each of these, both sides have to be true. This would have to be true, and this would have to be true for this to occur, right? And so if either one of these is false, the whole thing is false, and the computer goes, okay, that's false, next, and it checks these. Maybe both of these are false. Okay, that's false, next. Okay, maybe this is true, right? That one's true, but this is false. Whole thing's false, next. This is false, Right here, well, that already means the whole thing's false. Computer doesn't look at that next. And we'll say this one works out. These are both true. Well, then activities get set to this, and it skips the else because it's already executed that. Now, let's make sure, do we need to assign uh, output text, uh, set text time, activities text? Nope, that's looking good. Let's give this a try. Looking good. 
So my stress level of a three, if you remember, is low. And then happiness of a four is low. So low, low, reading a book. Boom. And we can just go through and test all of these. Cool. Just a critique here, I will say, as I test this. I have two minutes, and they want me to uh, do a lot of activities. I'm going to do yoga in two minutes. I'm just saying. I mean, it's our app, so it's perfect, but I yeah, just put it out there. Yeah. Uh, anyways, done and done. Onward.